Well, all you have to do is look outside. See, it's been cloudy and overcast all day long today. You may not even be able to see the lake right now. But what if your entire day depended on knowing if it's choppy or smooth? Should you head out or do you stay home? Well, a lot of people pick up their phones and they just look at an app. I know I do. Others actually dial a phone number. News 5's Clay Lepard and photojournalist Dave Colabine introduce us to the man on the other end. Along Lake Erie, Connie at Ohio. It's hard to believe it's that rough out there, as nice as it is. Oh. The most unlikely celebrity is a bait shop owner. You gonna take these guys down the creek or what? Yeah. We've been here since 1989. Myself doing dishes way back when. Whose pride. And myself cutting fish back there in 04. Echoes off the walls. <laughs> There's your phone. Jack Pachalski's. Good afternoon, Snug Harbor. Social media goes viral. Well, what would you like to know, sir? Just about every day. It benefits everybody. People from Youngstown area, Pittsburgh area. And it comes in the form of a landline answering machine. A lot of people are calling, wanting to know the weather report. Jack usually puts on there every morning which way the wind's out of, what the wave's going to be like, where the fish are at, how to catch them. Jack records a new voicemail greeting daily. I mean, we got fall weather now. To match the current conditions. Very slim day on the lake. Normally that parking lot would be loaded. And what's to come. It actually blows from Cleveland to Buffalo. And there's the phone again. The phone never stops. You guys head home today or? The proof of his popularity stands out. Well, Monday's going to be a nice day. You'll be able to fish Monday. The moment you walk in his shop. Anybody fishing? They're out there, but. I haven't heard anything. Okay. On the weekend, 500 to 1,000. All you can do is keep trying because it continuously rings and rings and rings. Do you call the weather report? He attracts a loyal cast of characters. How many did you get, Josh? 26, I think. 26. It's really kind of comical because I've had ladies walk in here and tell me, they'll say, the first thing my husband does when he gets out of bed in the morning is grab the phone, cup of coffee, run to the bathroom, and I know he's calling you. Sometimes, Come on. his celebrity can get in the way of recording a new weather report. And uh, we are still seeing a number of walleyes. Here comes an incoming call and everything I said is dead. Or fans have a follow-up question. Wish I had some better news for you, okay? He goes, I know it's going to be rough. I just want to hear it from you. <laughs> but like his fishermen out on the water. Good afternoon, Snug Harbor. Daily Lake forecast for Wednesday. Jack. Remember the 8th. You're looking for the fisher report, right? Keeps trying. It looks real bad. Yeah, well, you got it. What do you want to know? I'm just getting ready to update we it. We are seeing steelhead looking at bad weather. Fishing-wise, lake's going to be very ugly. No, best thing to do is stay home tomorrow, guy. Resilience runs through his blood. Go, go to work, go play golf. Like the line on a brand new fishing pole. It's still going to be pretty bad tomorrow. I've had issues with my health. I have Crohn's. Four major surgeries over the years. My first surgery with Crohn's is when I was 17 years old, a senior in high school. And Jack Pachalski <laughs> can still smile because a disease meant to bring pain pointed him towards purpose. And that's probably another reason why I kind of got into this business. It would be very tough for me to really hold a job anywhere with the Crohn's. By being my own boss, I was able to, you know, provide for myself, my family, and that. 17, Gustin to 24, 25. It's a simple service. They want lake conditions. The further you go, the rougher it gets. We try to stay on top of it as best we can. We're not always right, but we just roll the dice and uh, try to come up with the best plan we can. Really nice I wish I had a dollar for every time it rang because I'd be a millionaire. In Ashtabula County. There's a phone again. Clay Lepard. I'm going to shut that phone off. News 5. Good afternoon, Snug Harbor.